Good morning, Glenn. What is up guys, welcome back to Bike Up Japan. So today's video is just on my phone, nothing fancy today. Uh, no fancy cameras, no fancy editing. So today I'm going to look at a car. So if you remember from my last video where I met uh, John McGuinness, I was rambling about how in a past life I used to be a racing superstar and how I wanted to get back into it, how I missed it and blah 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 blah. Well, I was well, ever since that then, I've been trawling eBay, uh, just trying to find something something cheap. And there, there just isn't any cheap cars anymore. The prices in England these days are just ridiculous for anything. So ideally, I wanted a rear-wheel drive car, so I wanted to get a 3 Series BMW, really. But they're just too, too much money. So anyway, I found this. Renault Megane Coupe 16 valve, which is a pretty old car, it's like a 1996 model car. Um, and it's bright yellow, which again isn't exactly my favourite thing, but it's stripped out, it's got two racing seats in it, it's got upgraded suspension, upgraded exhaust, a quick shifter, um, and harnesses already fitted, and track tyres on it. Um, it's got really low mileage, but probably a lot of it will be track mileage, which could be good, could be bad, depends on the, the way you think. But the other important thing is it doesn't have a sunroof, which for uh, for racing, having a sunroof is a pain in the ass because you're not allowed a sunroof. So you have to remove it and then you have to fill the hole either by welding a panel in, which is kind of risky because the metal is so thin on the roof so you could warp the whole thing. Or you have to drill a bunch of holes in, silicon seal it, and rivet the thing in. And it just looks nasty. Now obviously you can spend a lot of time doing it, probably filling it in and stuff, but when you're for a race car, that's sort of pointless. So no summer if it's a big thing for me. So anyway, the car had a start price of a thousand pounds, and it has six days to go. As of today, it's got six days to go. So I thought, fuck it, I'll just message the guy and see what he's really after for it. So I messaged him and he came back to me, we had a long conversation like, Where's, is there any rust on it, is there anything that needs fixing? According to him, there's surface rust underneath it on like suspension arms and stuff like that, but nothing dangerous and nothing structural. And he says, all you need to do is change the oil and it's ready to go. And he even reckons the tyres have still got plenty of life in them. So we're on the way to go and check it out now. So the price he came up with was really cheap so he wants 1200 pounds for the car which there's nothing in the whole country that's that cheap that's ready to go like there's not even really any cars at that price because um prices have gone up so much in the past few years there is no car even your little runabout that you could buy for your grand or whatever there's nothing for that price so it's unbelievably cheap um but obviously there could be a reason for that but when I checked out the guy's other stuff for sale on, on eBay um, he's got a lot of rally parts and anyway now he just sent me his uh, postcode to go there and it comes up with a place called Storm Motors or something like that so when I clicked on the uh, Google Maps link to his business it was full of old Ferraris and classic cars and rally cars so I think he knows what he's on about and it's probably not his cup of tea either having this bright yellow stupid French car sat in his uh, workshop so he just wants it gone I think or I hope anyway so we've got about two hours drive to go um, I don't have the money with me right now but I've got a deposit so as long as I like the car and I think it's okay I'm going to give him the deposit and say to him I'll be back in a week to collect it and I'll pay the rest of the money off it's not road legal at the minute I can hopefully find a friendly MOT tester that will pass it um, so I'm going to need to get a trailer or something to collect it. But luckily, my cousin's a truck driver and has lots of friends that are in the recovery business and stuff. So I'm hoping my cousin's going to help me out. But anyway, we've got two hours to go, so let's uh, put some tunes on and relax. All right, so here is the car. So for those of you in Australia and Japan and America, you probably don't have a clue what this is. It is a Renault Megane Coupe and it's a 2 litre 16 valve engine that 
obviously in standard form it's not that good it's like 150 horsepower or so but this actual engine is the same one that they used to use in the touring cars and if you put pistons rods do head work and cams and stuff and throttle bodies you can get 250 horsepower easy so inside it's got the seats already it's got a steering wheel down there it's got a fire extinguisher in the back it's got a homemade harness bar that's a bit dodgy looking and you see the USB charger so there's a GoPro mount there it's hard to see but uh, where's my finger there is a GoPro mount and there is a USB charging point so yeah it's got an exhaust system on it it's got grooved and drilled discs with some Nankang uh, track day tyres uh, it's got a massive air filter on it focus and uh, yeah basically I've uh, bought it and the sunroof that I was saying it did have a sunroof and someone has plated it for whatever reason they've used the thickest alley they could find which is sort of silly but whatever but yeah I'm a happy chappy I've bought it for a really cheap price which I'm not going to tell you but uh, yeah I've just paid him a deposit so I'm coming back next week and this is his race car that soon will have a Honda Type R supercharged engine in it with 460 horsepower that's his girlfriend's car wide body Peugeot 106 and that's the mechanic who works here is Type R and if we look around the car park there's all sorts of other stuff as well and the company is called Stella Motors. So yeah, Renault Megane Coupe, 2 litre, 16 valve. I'm heading back to the track, boys. All right, so I did the deal. Um, the price was really, really cheap, 1,200 pounds. So I didn't even bother to sort of, you know, try and negotiate or anything. Now, the only bad thing is it did have a sunroof and then the previous owner had uh, done a sort of it's not a terrible job but he could have used a bit of thinner material but whatever um, the engine started on the turn of the key it sounded nice a bit noisy it might need a different exhaust for the tracks it's a little bit too noisy I reckon um, yeah but yeah other than that the seat as well doesn't move far enough back so I can't really fit it very well but that could probably be solved with just drilling out the brackets and slotting the holes or something like that but yeah overall I think I got myself an absolute bargain and over the winter now I think I'll just tidy up a few bits on the car uh, fix the rust on it and stuff like that and then I'll have a track day car so last video I was talking about reliving the dream it's on boys and girls it's on